There's another um, growth and green tea video. I'm doing a little bit impromptu today because I didn't jump on yesterday to do one. So um, I've been trying to work on inviting everybody so that they know exactly when and where um, these live videos are going to be. We didn't do one yesterday. So it was kind of heavy on my heart a little bit that I needed to jump on and give some value. But the funny thing about that is that as you can see, I'm in my car and not in my office. So is the life of a realtor, right? So I'm actually headed to a listing appointment and um, just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna pull over here on the side of the road and we will do a growth in green tea, just totally impromptu, well, slightly impromptu. I do have some notes and I do have my lunch that I'm eating on the road, my healthy broccoli over here, maybe from Panda Express. Okay guys, here's what we're gonna talk about today. Here's what I wanna pour into you guys. Still a continuation on leading oneself um, on some of the past videos that we've done. And so I wrote down some things in a recent book I read that really struck me about this. People are never able to actually outperform their self image. So if you're not able to perform or outperform your self image, you're going to eventually hit a ceiling unless you intentionally grow, guess who? Yourself, which is what we've been talking about. So growing yourself is, is even, more important than trying to lead others because you're gonna you're gonna hit a ceiling trying to lead others before you've led yourself is you know a little bit putting the cart before the horse one of the things they also said that I wrote down this is actually some notes I wrote down from a past training I was at that said if you put a small value on yourself then rest assured the world will not raise the price let that sink in for a minute um, I s literally stared at this statement um, when I was reading this because I, you know, occasionally I read something and it just kind of hits me upside the, the head thinking about my kids, right? Um, as parents, if we're not pouring into them, the world is all too happy to tear them down. And, you know, I've got two boys that I want to make sure I'm encouraging and pushing and, um, and being tough on them and at the same time making sure that I'm the one that's there to be that safe spot, to be the one that's encouraging them when they are having, you know, a crummy day and things like that. So if you put a small value on yourself, rest assured the world will not raise the price. I don't know why that, that statement was so powerful to me, but, but it is. So hopefully it hits home for you guys too. All you really need is 20 seconds of insane courage and, and if you had that, what would you do if you had just 20 seconds of insane courage to do one thing that would push you forward, that would push you to that next rung on the ladder, that would push you forward in your goal? What would that be? What's making it okay in your mind that, that you're not doing those things, that you're not hitting a goal, going after a target, hitting numbers, um, doing the things that you know you need to do to grow, whether personally or in your business, or um, it doesn't matter, what's made it okay to not hit those things? Would you tell your kids, hey, it's okay, it's all right if you don't, if you don't hit that, it's, no, it's not a big deal, or would you push them and encourage them to go and hit that, that target or that goal or um, you know whatever it was they were striving for. We've been talking a lot about habits and my 5 a.m. thing, which I know I keep bringing up on here, but um, if consistency of your habits compounds, or just if consistency in general compounds, then so does inconsistency. So what's, what's inconsistent in your life that um, you know, like I can tell you for me, it's going to the gym. I've been inconsistent in going to the gym. I've only started going to the gym, you know, a week or two ago, and I'm looking for that consistency. I'm looking for that thing that, you know, I'm going three days a week, four days a week, and I'm able to have something that's going to build on top of or have that domino effect of the result that I'm looking for. But if you think about that, your consistency in habits in particular is something that whether, you know, if you're doing something really good, it's gonna compound for the good. And if you're doing something 
or not maybe not doing something that's also you know that inconsistency is also going to have a compounding effect my other note I wrote on here we have huge uphill goals and then we have downhill habits this was something my old uh, my mentor uh, Diana Kokoska had taught me and she said you know so many people have these goals that are way up here which is great except for their habits are somewhere down here so you're you have uphill goals and you have downhill habits well that doesn't really match right you need you need the the audio and the video to match so um, if you want to be able to hit those high goals then what kind of habits and what kind of consistency are you having in those habits I'm gonna leave you with this thought I am what I am because of what I do and I am what I am because of what I don't do it's as simple as that I am what I am because of what I do and I am what I am because of what I don't do. I know this is a shorter video today guys and I'm heading up to a listing appointment. So if you know anybody that needs to buy, sell or invest in real estate, give me a call. I would be honored to help them and represent them and um, negotiate on their behalf and uh, give me a call. I gotta hit the road to my listing appointment. All right, hope I brought some value to you guys. See you later.